What's going on everybody? Today I'm going to be fixing a exhaust leak in my Corolla today. Ever since I bought it about a year ago, I've been having a much louder exhaust towards the front of my car. And probably a few weeks ago, I went and I tried to find it. And I did find it. It was between the headers or the exhaust manifold. Um, it's down there. It's kind of hard to see. But where the exhaust manifold meets the catalytic converter, um, I noticed it's leaking down there, so um, and the best, I mean, probably the, the best option to do would be to replace the exhaust manifold with a new one, but I know with how rusty this car is, I don't want to risk trying to take out the exhaust manifold right now, so I'm just going to try to use this JB Weld high heat putty um, and just try to fill in the crack down there with it, and hopefully that will fix the loud exhaust noise because it's like a loud exhaust like ticking noise so if you guys are having that it's most likely an exhaust noise so I'm going to show you guys how to find the leak and then I'll show you guys how to repair it and hopefully this will fix the problem I have for the next couple years so let's get started and hey guys before we get this video started don't forget to like the video Subscribe to the channel and turn your post notifications on so that way you guys don't miss another upload of mine All right, let's get started. So first thing we're going to do come to the back of the car find your exhaust tip Mine's underneath the bumper right here. Hopefully yours is a little bit easier to get to but um, what we're gonna have to do Or to hook up like a shop vac or something hook the hose up to it and I got a couple different fittings for my shop vac I'm gonna probably I don't know, try to do Something hook them on there. Then you're most likely gonna need some duct tape or something to hold them on there because what we're going to do is um, instead of running the vacuum with the normal side you're going to run the tube on the opposite side and push air into the exhaust so that way you're pushing air towards the front of the car and that way that's how we're going to find out if we have an exhaust leak um, so let's get this put together So as you can see, I got the vacuum all taped up to the exhaust tip. Make sure it's taped up pretty good because the vacuum will put quite a bit of pressure on here since there's not like a big hole in the exhaust, but there is a hole. So, and this isn't gonna ruin the engine. It's not like we're running the engine like this either. So, and also that air has a place to escape where that exhaust leak is, so. All right, now what we're gonna do is we're gonna go get some soapy water we're gonna turn on the vacuum and start spraying down some of the exhaust. And then we'll see, we'll look for um, bubbles or anything like that to see if there's air escaping the exhaust. So as you can see, I spread some soapy water on that um, flange right down there. You can still see there's a little bubbles down there still. So um, that's where my exhaust leak is coming from. That's pretty much how you find out if you have an exhaust leak. And I mean, there might be other leaks too on my exhaust because it's pretty rusty, but this is the noisiest part of it because it's right at the headers of the exhaust. And I've tried to fix this before, but the bolts are so rusted down there that they ended up breaking off. So. I put in a like a aftermarket bolt down there. I'll show you when I get underneath the car um, to help try to close it, but it still doesn't get rid of all of it. So I'm gonna try to mix that putty up right here and then fill it around the gaps. I know this isn't probably the best way to do this. Like I said, the best way would be to replace the whole exhaust manifold and put new bolts in it. But like I said, for me, try to take the exhaust manifold off this engine. I don't know how seized up the bolts are in the head and I don't want to risk stripping one out at this moment. So I'm just going to try to cheaply do it with this JB Weld high temp and just put it around that gasket and let's get started. All right, 
right, so I'm gonna get ready to start using this stuff. I'll probably start with half. Um, it says to just knead it, knead it together um, until you get a uniform color. All right, so that's pretty good. I'm gonna try to get the camera set up as good as I can to show you guys. It's kind of awkward to show you guys with this because it's like in such an awkward position. But I'm gonna try to line up the camera, show you guys, and I'll try to push this in between the crevices on the exhaust flange. You can see the putty all the way up there. I went all the way around on both sides. I might've put way too much, but I ended up putting almost that whole tube around that flange, but I'd rather put too much than not enough and still hear the leak. So this has it cures in one hour. I'm gonna let it sit for probably more because I put way more than I need. Like I said, I used that pretty much that whole tube. Um, that's all I got left of the tube. So, but like I said, this is what it looks like underneath. So I just shoved it all in between the flange. Like I said, this probably isn't the best way to fix this leak, but it's a very cheap, easy way to fix it without trying to have to remove the exhaust manifold from the head and replace it and everything like that. Because I've already had to replace that one bolt right there already. Um, cause I tried to tighten, cause it, there was no spring on it. So I ended up trying to take the bolt out and I'll probably put up some pictures of what the bolt looked like before. And I tried to do this a few months ago and it helped the noise a little bit, but it didn't get rid of it all the way. And then the other bolt is just as bad and rusty, but the spring is still on it. So I was just going to leave it. And now I'm just putting the putty around the whole flange. Hopefully that'll seal it all up. So I'll see you guys in about an hour or two. All right, you guys. So it's been about an hour and a half and I felt it and that putty seems rock hard. And also I had a little bit left over and this stuff is literally rock hard. So I'm going to assume that it's pretty much fully cured for what I need. I mean, it does also say on the packaging to after eight hours, it can be drilled, tap, machine, or whatever, but I don't need to do any of that stuff. It just says after one hour at room temperature, it should be cured. So, and it's been about an hour and a half and it feels really hard. So I guess I'm gonna go take it for a test drive real quick, make sure see if I hear the noise or not. Um, and hopefully I got rid of the noise. All right, so after I went for that drive to test out, to see if the sound got any better, it did get a little bit quieter but it didn't get rid of the sound altogether. I still hear like that, I don't know how to describe it, that like ticking noise or whatever you might call it from the exhaust and it's literally sounds like it's coming from like the front of the car right around here. I didn't fix it and I wanna get rid of the leak. So the next best thing to do that I'm gonna do now is since the leak is pretty much right at the bottom of the manifold and where it hits the, I believe the cat right down there, I'm gonna pretty much replace the whole header um, manifold. So I ended up going, buying these. This is a DNA um, four to one exhaust header for the 2009 to 2013 Corolla. Um, obviously uh, it's gonna be a lot of work to do this. So this is probably in the next video, but you're gonna see me pretty much take apart this whole thing and be able to get to the headers and take them off the head and then replace the bolts and everything down there because it came with nice new hardware so that'll be a nice video for you guys to stay tuned for because I definitely know it's going to make the car sound a lot better um, and probably give a little bit more performance so stay tuned for that and thank you guys so much for watching don't forget to subscribe to the channel hit the like button turn your post notifications on and I'll see you guys next time